Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about award winner SBCs today based off of the Luca de Young SBC that we got yesterday. I want to talk about the market as well in terms of the 92 plus tots. Are we finally going to see that 89 rated 5 gold, wait, 89 5 rare player pack SBC? If there's any day that that comes, I feel like it might be today because we have the 90 plus double from last week expiring today. So I'll talk about that in a second as well, as well as the upgrades for Champions League cards. David Alaba is now at 95, Goretzka, Kingsley Coman are both 95s, and Diego Carlos got his upgrade to a 93. So we're going to look at those upgrades, look at what happened with the market. If you guys bought some of the cards I suggested in yesterday's video, you definitely could have made a profit today with some 82s, 83s, and 84s that went up because of this SBC and because of the 92 plus team of the season. So... Let's talk about this award winner, Luke DeYoung, first, right? EA dropped this SBC today to commemorate Luke DeYoung as the man of the match for the Europa League final, giving him a 95-rated card. Uh, honestly, it's it's not really a meta card, but I think this has to be a like top three or top four dynamic image that I've seen in FIFA. Five-star weak foot, three-star skills, and I think he's got like maxed-out heading statistics because when they tweeted this card out today, they're like he he can. Uh, score goals with his head, which I think he might have done in the Europa League final. He might have scored a header goal. I think he had two goals. He was made of the match. Uh, 99 stamina, 99 strength, 99 heading, 99 composure. Agility and balance is not there, but he's a pretty tall guy, six foot two. Medium high work rates is very interesting. But this is almost just like a card collector's type of item. It just looks cool with that dynamic image. Um, that's just like a cool card that I honestly want to have in my club because of the dynamic image. So that was an 84 rated squad for this Luke DeYoung today. But again, since we got this SBC, that opens up the door for a possibility that we could get a Champions League man of the match as well. A Champions League man of the match award winner in the next couple of days. Earlier today, I posted this picture right here of Manuel Neuer because I thought that Manuel Neuer was the man of the match from yesterday. But what I was informed of later was this guy, Kingsley Coman, was actually the UEFA Champions League man of the match. So I don't know if this plays at all into who would end up getting the SBC, but I would have to lean towards the fact that Kingsley Coman, since he actually got the man of the match award from UEFA, would probably be the one to get the SBC in game that also you know i would have loved to see a neuer right because a neuer card imagine having this card in foot that would be sick right 97 or like even 96 rated neuer would be freaking nasty but uh since since kingsley coman already has a 95 rated card as updated just earlier uh, a couple hours ago what would a europa league or excuse me what would a award winner kingsley coman sbc really look like Honestly, I have no idea, but it would probably be around the same level as this, maybe even a, a tad bit higher if they wanted to give him like a 96 or a 97. That would be sick. Please, EA, just go all out and do it. I mean, it's freaking September almost. Just go ahead and do it, right? So there's a possibility that we get a Kingsley Coman. Now, I guess if EA just want to put out whatever SBC they want to put out anyway, they could put out a Neuer card like this. I mean, I'm sure there's some site out there on the internet that had... Uh, Neuer as possibly the man of the match over Kingsley Coman, which they could use to back that decision up. So I'm not saying that we won't see a Neuer SBC. I'm just saying it's most likely that we'll see a Kingsley Coman SBC if there is one coming because of uh, him getting this award. So I like that, right? I like this from EA. This is a GG. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, are we going to get award winner SBCs for the player of the years, you know, for the League Un, for the La Liga, for the Bundesliga, for Serie A? I doubt it. I don't think we will because I think those would have come out already in foot. If we're getting any more award winner SBCs, I think it just has to be uh, a man of the match SBC, kind of like this one for De Young, but for the Champions League. That would be the only other one that I would expect to actually come out in terms of an award winner SBC. Now, again, let's keep it on UCL and talk about some of the upgrades. Uh, if you do want to do this, David Alaba, he did get a pretty saucy upgrade. Plus three overall on the card, and he got a lot of plus threes in stat categories as well. If you take a look around the card, um, I do remember he had 89 dribbling, so we got boosted up to 92. A lot of plus threes in cate the, those categories. 85 rated squad for this, which actually probably is he's probably a bit cheaper right now than what he has been the entire week. 
uh, Footbin, he must have just been updated because Footbin does, isn't even showing this. But 119K for this SBC. I mean, it's been over 160,000 coins for the past week as SBC fighter has been pretty inflated and pretty expensive. So that's something to kind of look at. You have a couple hours left to do that. If you're interested in it, that is still out in the game as well. And of course, if you if you wanted to do Ander Herrera, just for some cheap 92 rated SBC fodder, he is still here as well. Uh, but I guess that's kind of cool that we got to wait until the upgrades actually happened for those cards. Speaking of upgrades, let's take a look at Leon Goreska. I want to show you this card. This card right here, is honestly, this might be record-breaking in FIFA Ultimate Team, man, because the amount of in-game stats that this card has, I think, has to rival the most that we've ever seen on a card in FIFA history. Look at that card, bro. Not a single stat under 92. If you go to Footbin and look at the in-game stat calculator, check this out. Check this out right here. Leon Goretzka, out of 2,800 possible in-game stats... This dude has 2,647. He is only 153 in-game stats away from having a perfect card. That's honestly wild. That is honestly incredible. I think that has to be the most in-game stats on any card uh, in this game. I think it has to be. Like, there's, there's no shot. Maybe, how much does De Bruyne have? I guess this is the only item in FIFA 20 that I would think maybe has more because De Bruyne has a 99 and a 98. Okay, 2681. So, uh, Goretzka only has 2647, right? So, never mind. The KDB actually has more than Goretzka. But, still, I mean, this is just like from an all-around perspective. This card is just incredible. It's ridiculous. And uh, if you need a midfielder in the Bundesliga, this is your guy, right? The Coman got his upgrade as well, 95. Um, he's got, you know, an insane-looking card too with all the, the rest of these upgrades, which is dope. Um... The other one that I wanted to show you was Diego Carlos got his 93 as well. He is now pushed up two ratings higher than his team of the season. And if you did, if you turn this, this card into an SBC at some point during team of the season or earlier this year, you are not feeling too happy about that because this card looks incredible now and it's even higher rated than the team of the season, which is wild. It's honestly pretty crazy, but that's where it is right now. GG's to Sevilla for winning the Europa League and getting that designation. So... That's where some of those upgrades happen today. I honestly think they happened like very, very recently. And that's why you're seeing a lot of these cards searched up at the front of Footbin because those upgrades literally just happened not too long ago. I mean, even Footbin isn't showing the 95 on the Alaba. But let's talk about some of the SBCs that came out yesterday as well and if there could be more today. So yesterday, after having no content on Saturday and Sunday, we had three SBCs. We had the 92 plus team of the season guaranteed. We had a Luke de Jong, man of the match, of course, and then a preseason challenge, which this one was interesting to me, right? I literally said in my video yesterday that they're not really putting out a lot of pack supply SBCs, and we actually got a pack supply SBC today with this preseason challenge. Now, it was untradeable, so it didn't affect the actual tradable supply on the market, which is a good thumbs up for me or for you guys if you invested in some of that SBC fodder, because since the 92 plus tots came out today, and since that Luke de Jong came out today, there was a lot of cards that moved upwards in price. If we take a look at some of the cards uh, on the market right now, some of these cards, uh, if you go back and look at the prices last night that, that they were uh, on my on the video when, when I recorded last night, Arangiz, I think, was like 5,000 coins. Uh, now he is he's basically like 6 to 7K. Basically all 83s earlier before the SBCs were dropped today. We're down in the 5K range, and if you bought some of those, you're feeling good because a lot of these guys are back up to like 6.7, 6.8K. Again, back to Footbin for an example. Wow, he's actually still 9K. Never mind. Updated two hours ago, so that is uh, that is a not accurate price. But uh, this guy was 5,000 coins after squad battle supply Sunday night, Monday morning. The SBC came out. Boom. My guy's up to 8 thousand coins looks like there was somewhat of a leak where he actually boomed up ahead of time people bought a lot of these cards up and then he kind of stayed around eight thousand coins and is now back down so honestly if you're interested in some of these 83s i think there's going to be more SBCs that come out um i you know i know they're up a little bit from where they were on uh, sunday night monday morning but these cards have potential to continue to go higher again this guy was 5.2k all the way up to 
9,000 coins, 8,500, now kind of dropping back down. So if I start to see these guys in the low sixes for sure, I'm going to get interested again because I know for a fact there's more SBCs coming this week. It's just the way they're running this game right now. They're putting out those upgrade pack SBCs uh, a lot, like almost every other day. I would honestly not be surprised if even today we had that 89 rated, um, the 89 rated five player SBC, five times 89 plus, right? I think that's what I should actually call it. But if that SBC comes out, you're going to see more of the higher tier market move. Again, watch Rakitic, watch Pjanic, Benucci, the gold or UCL items that are in the cheapest players by rating section for the 85, 86, 87 ratings. Um, now, again, I'm not guaranteeing that that 89 plus comes out today, but seriously, like if this stuff is just getting really cheap for its, um, just for the rating and the um, amount that I think it could go up, even if we get a Kingsley Coleman man of the match SBC, right? How much is that gonna cost you? If they're, if they're requiring a 95 rated, uh, Luke, the young is costing you an 84 rated squad. I would, I would venture to say that if they put out a Kingsley Coleman man of the match item, that card would probably run you around the range of an 85, maybe an 86 rated squad as well, making that like a 200,000 coin SBC, uh, because his 85 rated, uh, champions league road to the final card is also 200,000 coins right now as well. So that would kind of make sense to me if they did that. Uh, you know, I think that would probably require some 85, 86 rated squads. And then I do think you would see some 86s go up. When would a Kingsley Coman like that come out? I do not know if it would come out soon, probably a couple days away. How long is the Luke de Young out for? That'd be my one question. So it's out for a week. So maybe we see later this week, um, a Kingsley Coman SBC. If there's a dynamic image of Kingsley Coman, I mean, shoot, they could even use this dynamic image of, of Kingsley Coman holding the man of the match trophy from the UEFA website. If they really wanted to, I hope they don't. Hopefully they have a sick one of him, you know, kissing the, uh, the champions league trophy. That'd be sick. Cause this is honestly one of the coolest dynamic images that I've seen in this game. So again, just a quick rundown again, a short video today, boys, because there's just not a lot going on in this game right now. There were the final upgrades to Road to the Finals and to these UCL Showdown SBCs. You have a couple hours left on Alaba if you do want to craft him. The Young came out. That means I do think we will get Coman, and we did get another Tots upgrade SBC with a 92+. Plus. And in my opinion, I think we will get another upgrade type of SBC today on Tuesday as well. So just keep your eye out for some of that stuff. Other than that, there's really not a ton going on right now in FIFA Ultimate Team. So enjoy some of the upgrades if you're happy with those dudes. Uh, I, I bought some of the Paredes cards last week. This guy was like 1,000, 1,500 coins and I sold them all for 4K today uh, just because I, I still had those, got it out. I bought this uh, Neuer last night during Squad Battle Rewards for 106. He is still extinct at 120. So again, just something that was a very easy call of noticing supply on the market. That card was extinct before, and he kind of rose back up to that extinct price range. So I know it's August, boys. I'm not going to sit here and bore you. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.